doing a oil and filter change on an Audi A3 8P. Now we need to get access to that little thing in there. You probably can't see it's quite dark, but what we need to do, we need to remove this. So obviously pop the bonnet, then I have to pop the end, bonnet, uh, walk away uh, right now. One in this corner, up we get, one in this corner, up we get, and in this top corner, a little pull up, and then it slides out. So obviously there's a bit here, so we slide it straight out. Boom, put that to one side, and if you look better now, there is actually the oil filter right there. So now you've got to get a little uh, socket, stick it on there, find out what size it is, mix and match, and obviously unscrew it a bit, loosen it, and do it by hand, so obviously you're not going to spoil the thread on it. So once that's all set up, you've got your ratchet set up, you've got it nice and in there, nice and snug, to start to loosen it off. And there we have it, there we go, that was where the oil filter was. We managed to pull off the lid and managed to take the oil filter out. You want to remove this plastic little rubber, yep, don't know if you can see it, that little plastic rubber has got to come off and be replaced with this plastic rubber here. Uh, also, having a little compare, so check that both of them match, roughly the same size, the bottom looks the same as as the other bottom and yeah and once it's on like I said start doing it up by hand so give it a few twists give it a few twists by hand yeah get it started as soon as you get to a point where you feel like you know what my wrist is gonna snap here then I'd say get your ratchet get your socket and give it its final few twists nice and tight to do it all the way up Nice and snug. That is the oil filter done. So now all you have to do is replace the cover, stick the cover back on top of the engine, and the next time you'll be looking in the engine is just when you're topping up the oil. Um, you get under the car and you find out where exactly the sump plug is. On mine, it was a 19 as well. So I've got my little torch under there. I've got my 19 mil. There we are. So now, once you've cracked the, the bolt, so loosened it off a bit, then you can do it by hand, you get your bowl ready. When we're working on these sort of things, you want to make sure your engine isn't too cold, too warm, because obviously you will end up burning yourself. Here it comes, here it comes, let it all come out, let it all drain now. It is a bit scary when it first happens, but you'll turn into a legend over time. Now, a little trick. So at this point, all you do, you get your bucket back, you pull out the paper, and in the paper, you should get your sump plug. There we go, now it's all cleaned up. What I'd say, is always always remember to make sure that that little washer is on if that washer is not on it's not going to give you that good connection and it may cause oil to leak out yep so once that's been done make sure that's on nice and tight and we're done so now what we want to do here we want to remove the dipstick uh, place it out of the way at uh, arm's reach and just pour some oil into the engine i'd always say start with about three and a half to four liters you should know how much oil your car needs but yeah start with about three and a half to four and then just keep checking the levels with the dipstick and now i'm going to pull it out and have a quick look and see how much i've got and i think that's spot on yep so where it should be it should always be uh in between the top and the bottom and mine's bang on there and that was four liters exactly so yeah once you've put about three and a half to four liters in there stick the cover back on put the dipstick in I'd say run the engine for about 20 seconds, I already have, run the engine for about 20 seconds, turn it off, come back and check the level and it should be in between the minimum and the maximum. Yeah, you don't want it to exceed the maximum mark or you'll be doing damage to your catalytic converter. 